the aircraft mechanic, airframe study guide, airframe inspection. Which statement about airworthiness directives, ADs, is true? Compliance with an applicable AD is mandatory and must be recorded in the maintenance records. 8293-1 Airworthiness Directive, ADs, are designed to notify aircraft owners and other interested persons of unsafe conditions and prescribes the condition under which the product may continue to be operated. When overhauling electrical equipment, all necessary information should be obtained from maintenance instructions published by the aircraft and or equipment manufacturer. Which statement is correct regarding an aircraft that is found to be unairworthy after an annual inspection? Due to an item requiring a major repair, assuming approved data is used to accomplish the repair. An appropriately rated mechanic may accomplish the repair. And an EA may approve the aircraft for return to service. Radio equipment installations made in accordance with supplemental type certificate data require require approval for return to service by the holder of an inspection authorization. An aircraft may be flown beyond the 100-hour inspection requirement to reach a place where the inspection can be accomplished, provided it does not exceed 10 flight hours. Where would you find the recommended statement for recording the approval or disapproval for return to service of an aircraft after a 100-hour or annual inspection? 14 CFR Part 43. The maximum time a 100-hour inspection may be extended is 10 hours. Which statement is correct when an aircraft has not been approved for return to service after an annual inspection because of several items requiring minor repair? An appropriately rated mechanic may repair the defects and approve the aircraft for return to service. An aircraft that is due an annual inspection may be flown. If a special permit has been issued for the aircraft, for an individual, not a repair station, to conduct a complete 100-hour inspection on an aircraft and approve it for return to service requires a mechanic certificate with. Where would you find the operating conditions that make a 100-hour inspection mandatory? 14 CFR Part 91 Large airplanes and turbine-powered multi-engine airplanes operated under Federal Aviation Regulation Part 91, General Operating and Flight Rules, must be inspected. In accordance with an inspection program authorized under Federal Aviation Regulation Part 91, Subpart E.